today we're going to be learning about the French painter Paul Cezanne. He was born in 1839 and passed away in 1906. He's famous for being one of the greatest post-impressionist artists. He's really well known for his famous artworks of the Basket of Apples in 1893 and Mont Saint Victoria uh, with Viaduct um, that he painted later in 85, 87. He's known to be one of the pioneers, so the first people to really come up with in the 20th century of abstract painting. And this was a way that really paved the way for um, people like Picasso, uh, for example, for Cubism and Fauvism. Picasso declared him as the father of us all. So it's amazing how one person can inspire so many other people. Looking at his artwork, this is what we're going to be focusing on today. And to get a little I more idea is we're going to be looking at a still life. And a still life is when you take non-living items or objects and you place them together to make a sort of portrait or thing together. And that's what you can then recreate and paint or draw. And it tells a story. As he enjoyed exploring the properties of line and color, and he really painted lots of different objects in different ways and form because he felt that artists should always use different shapes like cylinders and spheres to re represent art in nature. And he always found himself trying to do new things and that he just didn't feel that he was doing enough in his paintings. So he wanted to keep learning more. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at our still life. We're going to create our own with apples on a plate, and then we're going to design a placemat to put our apples on. So let's get started. All right, so today we're going to be creating our Cezanne still lifes. And looking at our examples in the pictures, what we're going to do is pretend that we have a bowl of apples in front of us. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw those sitting on a plate. And this is where we're going to be able to add in our own ideas and colors and so forth with what do you want else on your plate? Or what does the plate sit on, like a placemat or a tablecloth that you have? So what I want you to do first is you're going to, and I'm going to grab, I'm on my iPad here. So I want you to use your... Um, pencil or you can use a crayon or a marker if that's what you want to jump on first and do and we're going to draw three apples so we're going to do one two anywhere on your large paper and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle because not all apples are made the same right the next thing that we're gonna do, so you could do three or four of these, is now we're going to draw the little stem inside of it. So I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see. And the first thing that I want you to do is to do a U, and then you're gonna do a little stem line. And now it looks like an apple, right? So I'll show you again, you're gonna do a U, and draw a little line and do that on each of your apples so now I have three apples the next thing I want you to do is to draw your plate so if you're you know, try your best to draw an oval or a circle okay and if it's a little off the paper, that's fine too. I think it sometimes it gives it a neat other perspective or a look on it. Lastly, what we're going to do is I want you to take your time and you're going to design a tablecloth. So what do you want the design of your tablecloth to be? So I'll give you a couple examples. I, on my iPad, I'm able to do a couple different layers and designs and what we are going to do is say you can do some cool lines like zigzag lines 
trying not to go through the plate like I did here. And then you're gonna go like that and have it come through. So looking back at some of the other examples that you saw, you could do some different um, patterns if you feel like you wanna add in some fun um, characters that are your favorite you're more than welcome to do that so if you have little um, emojis or cute other little things that you want to add or shapes go for it so in mine i might add in a pattern so think about what pattern would you like to add i might do two circles and a heart and another two circles so you can keep doing your patterns or designs and just play with that on your placemat now. So the first thing that I want you to do is we, I would like you to color in your plate. So choose a color that you would like your plate to be. Any one color. And that'll make it stand out really nice and pretty using your markers, your crayons, or your colored pencils that you have. If you're at home and you have paint, you can do that as well. Once you're done, what we're going to do is work on painting our or coloring in our apples. So the first thing that I want you to do is think, are you going to have red apples? Are you going to have green apples? What's your choice? So for this, I want us to grab an orange or even a, um, a green and we're going to color it. Okay, so I'm going to grab myself a green. And I'm going to, for me, I'm going to use a different kind of pen here, okay? So I'm going to take my green and I'm going to do a nice thick line. So let me make this a little bit bigger and I'm going to make it nice and thick. There we go. And if you are using the red, you can use a different red. Okay, my red apples, maybe I'll go in and I'll have this one be a red apple. So you're basically doing a nice thick line on one side of your apple. After that, the next thing that I'm going to have you do is we're going to add yellow to all of our apples. And it's okay to mix red and yellow or green and yellow together because when um, you think about some apples have a little bit of orange on it or some yellow it's a reddish yellow orange or all red but I want you to practice kind of mixing some colors crayons do mix when you're using crayons as well as markers paints usually the best but it does work that way so I'm going to grab myself some yellow and I'd like you to go in and color in the rest of yours yellow. So now that we have this other part done, what I want you to do is go in and fill in the rest of your project. Try to add in different background colors, have everything fill in. So I'm gonna get going ahead on this and I'm looking forward to seeing what you create. Yeah. 